Good morning, everybody. How are you all? This is Dr. Nandi. Today we are going to talk about how to use partial fraction to do integration. So let's uh, share the screen with you. Says use partial fraction to find the integral. Integration of 4x minus 2 divided by 3 times x minus 1 whole square. x minus 1 square in the denominator with respect to x. So we can write. Solution. At 4x minus 2 divided by 3x minus 1 whole square is equal to a over x minus 1 plus b over x minus 1 square. So these are two partial fractions. So we can write. Four x minus two is equal to three a times x minus one plus three b, right? Okay. Now, in order to solve for uh, a and b, first step we'll do it. Let x equal to one. So. We will have 4 times 1 minus 2. x when x is 1, x minus 1 is 0. So this term disappears. A term disappears. I'm left with 3b. So which leaves to 4 minus 2 is 2 is equal to 3b. Divide by 3 on both sides. So b is equal to 2 over 3. Okay, and to solve for B, let X equal to two. What do we have then? Then four times two minus two when okay. Four times two minus two is equal to three. A times 2 minus 1 plus B, we already know, 3 times 2 by 3. Okay. So, 4 times 2 is 8 minus 2 is equal to 3A plus 2. So, 8 minus 2 is 6 is equal to 3A plus 2. So, subtracting 2 on both sides, we get... Uh, 4 is equal to 3 times a or a is equal to 4 over 3. So a is equal to 4 over 3 and b is equal to 2 over 3. Now let's create some space for us. Maybe you can do one more here. Yeah. I think we will move this up. So now we can write um, integration of 4x minus 2 divided by 3x minus 1 square dx is equal to a is 4 over 3. So 4 over 3, then integration of 1 over x minus 1 dx plus b is equal to 2 third integration of 1 over x minus 1 square dx. So this is equal to 4 third integration of ln x minus uh, is integration of 1 over x minus 1 is ln 
absolute value of x minus 1. Okay. Then we have to integrate 1 over x. So what happens? So it is plus 2 third times x minus 1 square in the denominator. It becomes x minus 1 times exponent minus 2 when I bring it to the numerator. And when I integrate that, the, uh, the minus 2 comes in the outside. And x minus 1 minus 2 plus 1 is x minus 1. 1 over x minus 1 minus 2 plus 1. Okay. In the numerator. So I should correct it. So. Remember I have brought x minus 1 minus 2 to the numerator and I'm integrating that. So therefore my x minus 1 minus 2 in the numerator when I integrate minus 2 uh, it becomes actually let's this also. Okay. So this is let me not jump step. Let me write this out completely. Is integration of x minus 1 to the power of minus 2 dx. Okay. And you know this is so the first term remains unchanged, four-third ln absolute value of x minus 1 plus two-third x minus 1 minus 2 plus 1, the power, and then the denominator minus 2 plus 1. Okay. And we should also add an integration constant over here. Okay. And integration is constant. C. And then I move this a little bit up. So then it becomes integration of 4x minus 2 divided by 3x minus 1 square dx is equal to 4 third ln absolute value of x minus 1. And then you know, minus 2 plus 1 is minus, so it is minus two-third, okay, 1 over x minus 1, because x minus 1 minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1, which I can bring into the denominator, x minus 1 and plus c, okay. So if you want to further simplify this a little bit, you can do, you can take uh, two third out as a common factor outside the parenthesis. Then you will be left with two ln x minus one, okay? And minus one over x minus one in the denominator. And then the integration constant C. C is the integration constant. So this is your final answer. I will stop here today. If you have any question, any comments, please write me a note. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. And if you like this video, please share with your friends so that you and your friends can subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner. I'll see you next time with another interesting problem, interesting solution. Take care. Have a nice day. See you next time. Thanks for watching.